Hey everyone, this is my run on Heartless Gaze Lufania Plus, which is the release of Ida's uh, LD. And this run is going to be a no boss turn run, completed in one turn, with a combination of the three turns from Shadow and Terra, and of course capitalizing on the off turn damage from Cloud of Darkness and X Death uh, BT Aura. Quick disclaimer though, this run isn't an original strategy. The exact strategy was actually first completed by a JP player many months ago when this event first debuted in the JP version of the game. I will be including a link in the video description to the JP video so you can check that out as well if you are interested in another run. The setup that I used here is very much the same as the JP player. Alright, so coming to the actual battle, what you want to do if you're having this party set up is to reset the fight until you get a turn order of Shadow followed by Cloud of Darkness and followed by Terra. So at the start of the fight, ready is uh, have Shadow use the Jack uh, LD call to inflict Jack's debuff and then I swap him out directly to x Death, and I have x Death use his additional ability to get the attack boost followed by his BT mode. Then after that, uh, you'll get Cloud of Darkness' turn. Cloud of Darkness, the idea you want is to use her additional ability to break the enemy units, making sure to break them in order so that Terra will be able to move right after her. Uh, by using her additional ability to break the enemy units, you will get a free turn with Cloud of Darkness. And right before I end her turn, I just have her use uh, the Ash, Base and LD call to inflict the imperil as well as benefit from the call auras. This will actually uh, boost Cloud of Darkness' uh, damage output for the rest of the fight. Then I, I end her turn using her free turn on her BT+. Coming to Terra's turn, if you've broken the enemy in the correct order, Terra should be able to act right before the, the enemies get a turn. So I have her use uh, Kurasame base and LD call. One additional ability to proc one round of uh, X-Death HP Poison and then I go straight into uh, Burst Mode with Terra. Coming from the burst mode from Terra, from here on in, uh, what I'm doing is just uh, spamming LD into Meteors with Terra, making sure to refresh the LD buff when she still has one free turn remaining. This is really just so that I can keep the turn count at one. If you're not too fast about the turn count, you can just use up all her free turns spamming Meteors and then just have her reapply her LD buff by using LD after that, it will increase the turn count by 1, but doing it that way, you can actually squeeze in 1 extra Meteor per LD. My party setup here is pretty built, so I have my Cloud of Darkness uh, with BT plus and blue armor. My Terra also has blue armor and Shadow himself also had blue armor. I did try with Shadow with base high armor, but unfortunately he couldn't DPS raise the orb at the end, so the equipment requirement in this party setup is pretty high. You can probably get away with Shadow say at uh, high armor 1 or 2 out of 3, but I think anything less than that, you will struggle at the end to finish off the boss before the orb ticks down to 0. As far as the Ash LD call ability goes, I use the LD call because it does also provide further boost to weakness damage and you can see both her base and LD call aura is still up on Cloud of Darkness now which really boosts her often damage significantly. Alternatively, I think other enchant and Imperial call abilities work but you really want one that will last for around 6 turns because gradually Cloud of Darkness will get some turns and will take down the LD Call Aura so you want one that can last long enough the entire battle to enable your entire party to hit for elemental weakness damage. You can consider Fujin LD Call for the Wind and Chan and Imperil 
or maybe even crowd LD call as well. Um, those should work uh, as decent alternatives to Ash LD call. As for Kurasame call, uh, the main point of using Kurasame here is really just for the 30% HP damage up, which at this point of the game is the highest uh, call boosting HP damage. Beyond that, if you don't have that, you can use other call abilities that boosts HP damage like Maria LD call for 20% or Gerbrandt or Inis LD call for 10%. Obviously, using those uh, would result in slightly lesser HP damage, but they, they may be able to work if you do not have Kurasame LD call. Alright, so this is the final LD of Terra, and after this, uh, I will have to pop summon to prevent my turn count from rising any higher. Right before popping summon, uh, you want to use additional ability with Terra just to give her a little bit more boost to her attack power and proccing one more round of X Death HP poison as well. And right here, I'm out of free turns, so I have to pop my summon to prevent the turn count from getting any higher. Now, inside summon, the key thing you want to do if you're using 5 turn X Death friend is to always use X Death's LD inside summon because you do need to get the additional free skill use with x Death later on and only his LD will provide a free skill use. You want to try to manipulate turns inside summon so that x Death gets the first turn after summon. So keep a very close eye on both Cloud of Darkness and Terra turns because Cloud of Darkness will get additional turns if she breaks the unit and Terra has high turn rate on her S1 and S2 so you do want to be very careful. Unfortunately here, as you can see, I ended up with Cloud of Darkness getting the first turn after summon, which isn't ideal but it's still possible to um, make it a one turn count. And here I, I had to use dual cast with Terra because using her S1 or S2 will actually jump her turn forward and will not enable me to finish the fight in one turn. So here to keep the turn count at 1, I use Cloud of Darkness additional ability to get to proc a free turn and uh, this way I get to end her turn without increasing the turn count. So at this point here, what you want to do with x Death is to just spam his additional ability um, until he jumps out. This also points out to the fact that if you don't have a 5 turn x death friend, you can actually just use a 3 turn x death friend. It should work. The only thing you lose out is one extra turn of HP poison from his additional ability, but that really shouldn't be significant enough. Now that Shadow is back, the rest of the fight is pretty straightforward. At this point, you are out of HP poison, so it's a DPS race against the orb. All I'm doing here is going LD with Shadow into double wall throws. His LD is a free turn use, it doesn't increase the turn count. And his two subsequent wall, wall throws are also free turn use, they also do not increase the turn count. And uh, it's really a DPS race, I'm just hoping to finish off the boss before the orb expires. Now like I said earlier, I did try with Shadow with base high armor. Unfortunately, the orb exploded at 1%. It may be still possible with Shadow with base high armor, but it is extremely tight. And likely, you will need to have Shadow's high armor at 1 or 2 out of 3 realization at a minimum in order to replicate this strategy. Alternatively, if you really aren't too fast about the turn count, you can have x Death stay longer in the field and take out a few additional turns before 
shadow comes back in. This way is not as ex uh, extensive on your gear requirements. So anyway, that's it for this run. As always, I hope the video has been helpful and enjoyable. And if you do like the content, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Lufenia fight. Bye!